Hello viewers. Welcome to Best Product Review. In this video we are going to be checking out the best 5 telescope under 1000. We made this list based on our personal opinion and hours of research, and we have listed them based on the type of features and price. We have included options for every type of user, so whether you are looking for the best budget. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. Oh yes, since you're a new channel don't forget to subscribe to us, and if you're on YouTube click the alert notification, as it will help us grow. So let's get started with video. Number 5. Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT Computerized Telescope. The Celestron Nexstar is a Newtonian telescope that presents itself as a robust upgrade from other types of scopes in this price range. Its 5-inch primary mirror allows at least 30% more light to enter into it, giving you more opportunities to see clear images of the Moon, the cloud belts on Jupiter, and over 600 other galaxies. Its Newtonian design also lets it produce fully color-corrected object views. Designed for hobbyists, the Nexstar 130S Elt comes with a rugged stainless steel tripod. Our favorite part of this telescope's exterior is the fact you can take the scope out of the box and have it ready for use in only a couple of minutes. You'll enjoy its skyline technology and how it removes the need for you to have a manual pole aligned yourself. Its optics are clear, crisp and deliver impressive results for beginners, eliminating the trial and error that many novice astronomers usually go through from the start. The Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT has much to offer you if you're interested in stargazing through a telescope, either as a beginner or expert. Number 4. Zumel Z12 Deluxe Reflector Telescope. The Zumel Z12 is an excellent Dobsonian with a monster aperture and tame price tag. The larger the aperture, the larger the price tag, but the Zumel has great value and a ton of potential. The Zumel is a big telescope. It has a 12-inch mirror, so it's not designed for portability in the same way a 6 or 8 is, and it's not even in the same league as a 4.5. Surprisingly, the entire assembly still weighs under 100 pounds. Really, it should be set up in a place where you can leave it specifically for observations while it's sheltered from the elements. Think personal dome, perhaps? As a Dobsonian telescope, it consists of a Newtonian on a swiveling base. The primary mirror has a paraboloid shape and is collimatable. If you're transporting it, you'll probably need to collimate it more often than not, natural consequence of a Newtonian and its large size. Speaking of consequences of a large size, it's prone to longer cool-down time, so warm mirrors might be a problem with other scopes. This one? Not so much since it comes with a cooling fan. Optically, it's a fast scope with a ratio of f 5 so wide-angle observation is the name of the game. At low power, there is visible coma, but nothing a coma corrector can't correct. With the Zumel scope, you'll soon understand why observing DSOs and seeing planets is an obsession. If you think you've been wowed before, you're about to learn what the wow factor really is. Number 3. Celestron Nexstar Computerized Telescope The Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT Mac Computerized Telescope has a 5-inch, 127mm, aperture, a 1,500mm focal length, and a finder scope. It also comes with SkyX Planetarium software to help you locate specific items in the sky. We do find it difficult to fine-tune images with this telescope. This telescope isn't built with the best materials, so it seems to be somewhat fragile. The focuser causes the scope to shake somewhat, and at times it will move the object you're looking at completely out of view. The mount that comes with this scope is another reason the telescope is shaky. It's very lightweight and not strong enough to hold the telescope steady. The tripod that comes with this telescope is not great. It wobbles with a light breeze. Number 2. Skywatcher Dobsonian Telescope The Skywatcher S11620 traditional Dobsonian telescope features a 10-inch aperture with a 1,200mm focal length for obtaining a clear view. 
The telescope is held onto the tripod by a mount with Teflon bearings and a tension clutch. This mount will hold the scope steady, but the telescope itself is quite heavy, and you'll find that the tripod slowly drifts downward under its weight. You'll either have to keep readjusting it or get a heavy-duty tripod. This telescope has a 2-inch single-speed focuser with a 1.25-inch adapter. It doesn't have fine-tuning capabilities though. It also comes with two different sized eyepieces, 25mm and 10mm. Number 1. Celestron Nexstar Telescope. The Celestron Nexstar 6SE telescope features a 6-inch aperture and a 59-inch focal length. It comes with Skyalign technology to help you get your scope aligned correctly, so you can easily find the 40, 000 plus celestial objects that are pre-programmed into the scope. It's great that this scope automatically finds things for you because there are no crosshairs to help you find the center of the object you're observing. All this technology drains the telescope's battery pretty fast. You may want to consider getting a 110 volt adapter for it if you'll be using it near an outlet. This telescope has a steel tripod that breaks down for easy transport with the compact scope. The tripod only has one arm though, so if you breathe hard or have even the slightest breeze, it will wobble on you. It isn't a huge deal until you get into the smaller lenses. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this unbiased review. Please don't forget to subscribe us to get the news of upcoming reviews. Stay tuned.